The ingredients are few and simple in this slow cooker Mississippi chicken recipe. I'm using a packet of ranch dressing mix and au jus gravy mix. I have some skinless bone-in chicken thighs in my slow cooker, and I'm sprinkling the contents of both packets over the chicken. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. I've also included links to where you can purchase online some of the ingredients and equipment that I use in this video recipe. If you have a chance, please check it out. On top, I'm putting some chunks of unsalted butter, and of course, we can't forget the pepperoncini peppers. I'm also putting in a little of the juice for some added flavor. That's it. The lid goes on and cooking on high for 3 to 4 hours, or on the low setting for 6 to 8 hours. It's been a little over three hours and the Mississippi chicken is done. It smells wonderful. You can see a nice sauce is formed. You want to use skinless chicken as you don't want a whole lot of fat. And I think the bone-in chicken thighs are the best to use as they hold up better in the slow cooker. Tonight I'm serving with some homemade macaroni and cheese and broccoli. You can serve with some rice, pasta, or potatoes to absorb all that wonderful, flavorful sauce. This Mississippi slow cooker chicken dinner is a winner. I hope you give it a try and enjoy. This peanut butter chicken dinner is a simple and delicious slow cooker meal. Let's get started. And by the way, you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. Please check it out. I'm starting with some coconut milk, and this is the type that I am using. Depending on the brand of coconut milk, it may be less creamy and more watery, but don't worry, you want the flavor. In goes the star of the show, and that is some creamy peanut butter. You can use your favorite brand. Adding some brown sugar, and I usually use honey, but I didn't have any today. Adding in some minced garlic, some minced ginger, soy sauce, and a little rice wine vinegar, giving that all a good mix. Tonight I'm using boneless chicken thighs, and you can use chicken breasts. I cut the chicken into approximately 1 inch bite sized pieces, and yes, you can leave the chicken whole if you wish. Giving everything a good toss, placing on the lid, and cooking on high for approximately 3 to 4 hours. Typically, you would cook on high for 4 hours, or on low for 7 to 8 hours, but I find the chicken will start to fall apart. If you have a timer setting on your crock pot, you can cook for 3 hours on high and give it a check. Again, it will depend on the amount of chicken you use, but it should be enough time to cook the chicken all the way through. It's been just a little over three hours, and this is what the peanut butter chicken looks like. It smells wonderful. I'm going to thicken the sauce with a little slurry of cornstarch and water, pouring in the slurry and giving it a mix, placing the lid back on, and cooking for another 15 minutes on high. I'm serving the peanut butter chicken with a myriad of steamed vegetables and jasmine rice. The peanut butter chicken is creamy and rich, and the fresh vegetables are a nice balance. The rice just absorbs all that extra delicious sauce. You can serve this peanut butter chicken with noodles or pasta, topping with some chopped green onions, and you could also top with some chopped peanuts or some cilantro. I hope you give this slow cooker peanut butter chicken a try and enjoy. So let's get started. In my crock pot I'm starting by making the sauce. I'm adding in some brown sugar, ketchup, soy sauce, red wine vinegar, and you can use cider vinegar. I happen to like the tang and the flavor of the red wine vinegar. And in goes some minced garlic and ginger. This is some canned pineapple chunks with a little of the juice, some diced onions, bell peppers, and carrots. 
giving everything a good mix. I'm using some cubed boneless chicken thighs. You can use chicken breasts or tenders. I'm keeping the pieces rather chunky so they hold up in the cooking, giving it another good toss. And that's it. On goes the lid and cooking on high for three to four hours or on the low setting for six to seven hours. Since the chicken is cubed and boneless, this is not going to take long. I have my setting on high and it's been almost three hours and I'm giving everything a good stir. At this time, I'm going to add in a can of rinsed and drained sliced water chestnuts. I like the crunch and the flavor that the water chestnuts add to this dish. Also, to thicken the sauce, I'm adding in a slurry of cornstarch and water. Another good toss, placing on the lid and cooking on high for another 15 to 20 minutes. The sweet and sour chicken is done and we are ready to eat. It smells great. You can see the chicken is nice and tender and starting to fall apart. All the veggies are tender and the sauce is a nice balance of sweet and sour. Serving tonight with a side of steamed jasmine rice. My family just loves this meal and it is so easy to make. I hope you give this slow cooker sweet and sour chicken a try and enjoy. This crock pot chicken and gravy recipe is so easy and it can be served on top of just about anything. In my crock pot, I'm adding in one can of cream of chicken soup and two cups of chicken broth and you can use water. I won't be adding any additional salt as I know the soup and the gravy packets I'm using will contain plenty. When choosing these products, just be careful and choose low sodium so you can control the amount of salt you add. I'm adding in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of thyme, giving that a good stir to combine. This recipe requires two packets of chicken gravy mix. I thought I had two packets, but I didn't, so I'm using one packet of chicken and one packet of mushroom gravy. I'm just using what I have in my pantry. I'm adding in my chicken, and this is two very large boneless skinless chicken breasts. This is a little over two pounds, and you can also use chicken thighs. Putting on the lid and cooking for three hours on high, or five to six hours on the low setting, or until the chicken is pull apart tender. You can shred the chicken right in the crock pot, but for me it's easy to remove. Removing and letting the chicken rest for 10 minutes before shredding. You can see a beautiful rich gravy is formed and it smells incredible. Shredding the chicken into pieces, and I like to leave some chunky pieces. Putting the chicken back into the crock pot and giving it a good stir. Really, it doesn't get any simpler or as good as this chicken and gravy. So rich, good, and comforting. I've already made this and threw in some peas at the end. Some diced pimentos are really nice, and even a couple good spoonfuls of sour cream gives it a tang and creaminess when stirring in the chicken. There is so much you can do with this recipe, and so many things you can serve with the chicken and gravy. This night I serve with mashed potatoes. An all-time favorite. The next day we had leftovers over toast. I hope you give this easy and delicious crock pot chicken and gravy a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!